back on the Bibbleman day two. Yeah. A fairly decent walk. We've parked the car. I'm just off the road. And we're just going to walk back to where we finished the trip last time. So we started in Kalamunda. We walked two and a half kilometers in. And now we've driven ahead of that and we're walking sort of north of the track to meet where we ended up last time. Here we go. Today's walk descends rapidly to Peace Brook in Kalamunda National Park. It's certainly a level up from our first day's walk, being double the length and very hilly for almost the entire duration of our walk. In July 1972, Jeff Schaefer walked into the office of the then Minister for Forests, H.D. Evans, with an idea designed to prompt urban people to go bush. The minister listened, liked what he heard, and sent Jeff and his idea to the forest department with a green light to go ahead, and the Bibbleman track was born. The dominant feature over the whole northern half of the Bibbleman Track is the Darling Range. It follows a very long and ancient geological fault for some of its 1,000 km length. Beyond the scarp, the Darling Plateau flattens out and rises gradually into a series of rolling hills and broad valleys, dissected by rivers and streams, and covered for the most part with eucalypt forests. The scarp is the western edge of the ancient Yilgarn Shield, which formed as part of an ancient continent 2.4 million years ago. Probably not halfway yet. It's uh, 12 o'clock, so we're going to stop for some lunch. Are you boys having fun? Yeah. Yeah, enjoying it? Yeah. That's good. We went out camping or hiking. Uh, we take a tiny little cooker with us and we eat like kings. We're having some very posh me goreng for lunch. And the boys think it's spaghetti, so it's probably a good thing. Bon appetit. Is it yummy? Yeah. Mee Garang is a, a big success with the boys. Yeah. The vast majority of walks taken on the Bibbleman track are day walks or short walks of between two days in a week. You can drive up to the hills from Perth just for the day or base yourself in one of the towns along the track. The experience will differ depending on the time of year, the section walked and age group, fitness or experience of the walkers in your group. Whether it's for the physical challenge and personal achievement of a long distance walk or a short stroll with your kids to have a picnic at a campsite, the Bibbleman Track offers something for everyone. We're four k's in and that's one tired boy who wants his bag off. The joys of coming out with 
four-year-olds, but it's it has been good. They've been they've been really good. I mean, it's been a lot longer than what I anticipated because the track has diverted. There's a a bit of the track that's changed, basically because the the original track was deteriorating, and so we've taken the uh, detour, which is uh, 500 meters. So we're going there and back. So that's a kilometer all up so it looks like it's probably going to be about close to probably 10 kilometers that we're going to be walking today and the last trip we did was five just gone three o'clock and uh, yeah, i've been walking all day jim's had it finally had a a meltdown there he is down there halfway and i think the boys have well and truly had enough so it's going to be a very interesting walk back to the car 20 past five. Uh, we're just about there. It's been a very, very, very long day, as you can hear. The boys have still well and truly had enough. There's Jimmy there. But uh, we're, we're, we're just about done. If you enjoyed watching our journey hit the like button and let me know your thoughts in the comment section you can help me grow my channel by subscribing and checking out our other videos i'm dan this has been epic drives western australia catch you around